What's up, YouTube, and welcome to yet another West World video. So that's it. I called it. I called Bernard being an android. I called Dolores being Wyatt. And check the playlist. I called Bernard being Arnold. So, yeah, just pretty much I'm the genius of YouTube. You know, subscribe for more genius. You know, every week, every day I'm uploading. But that's enough of me being the smartest man alive. Next up, this episode was just absolutely fantastic from start to finish. We had some amazing reveals. And I love the fact that this show has just slowly revealed itself non-stop just completely slowly building up and not relying on huge huge twists this reveal is more of a sum of what happened it's a end result not like a oh they've killed the king of the north ah not that kind of thing or Ah, Joffrey's been poisoned. It's more of just layers of just storytelling, which is absolutely fantastic. Which is the way it should be. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones just way, way too much. It's just the fact that it's nice to see a show that has such a big theory kind of thing behind it. And it not just relying on that kind of thing. It's not relying on plot twists or... Just shock deaths. These deaths mean something. They absolutely, there are a result of weeks of storytelling, which is fantastic. Now, the timeline theory is interesting here because, well, that picture that drove Dolores to what she's doing now, kind of, and also what really drove her kind of storyline father mad is William's fiance, wife, whatever you want to call her. So that's another thing which is pretty crazy in this episode. We saw the big reveal of that and what drove her to doing what she's doing. And it, as the progress of the show goes on, it just shows the fact that she is following in the footsteps and that she is also Wyatt. So she is the one who shot up the town. But is she? That's the question here because... Really, it's showing that her lover was the one who did it, but it was actually her. And what I think actually happened or reveal next week is that she did it to put them out of their misery because of Wyatt's coding. His coding was kind of a bit off. It made them have that, you know, and one of those thoughts which robots shouldn't really have. And she wanted to put them out of their misery and kill them all. And in the process, she killed Arnold as well. Now, what's interesting is I think this is kind of a Matrix thing with Bernard. I think this isn't the first time he's been killed. I think slowly he's been realising what's happened, etc. and led to this point. I think he's been killed quite a lot. But then again, that throws up in the mystery because the actor on Twitter actually said goodbye. So that doesn't usually happen until they've actually gone, just like Glenn on The Walking Dead and the million other people who've died on Game of Thrones. One thing I really liked from this was the reveal as she walks into the church. We finally kind of learn what's in the church. And we see her father, kind of, her, her storyline father, learn his role that she was going to have in the park. Which I found very interesting because that whole thing below where she kind of found was quite similar to the place that was in the weird sort of, I'd say, cabin in the woods that Ford had. So it had exactly the same layout. So that's, that's another thing which we, we haven't kind of learned what the story behind that is. Like, why do they look the same? I guess it's because it's uniform, it's, it's how they keep it, but this is a secret thing that Ford built, the cabin. So why would it look the same? Now, if we move on to the Mayev storyline, it's quite interesting that what she did was so significant. Because the thing is, 
that kind of bomb in her, I'd say, spine that she has, it can only be removed from a full rebuild. So when these robots die, these hosts die, they're fixed and they're put back <laughs> where they came from. So what's interesting here is that she's doing this. She banged and then burnt alive because she wants a full rebuild. So that's why that happened there. And in the promo for next episode, we get to see her in civvy clothes. So her man on the inside is able to actually rebuild her and not put the bomb inside her. Now a couple of points which I find very odd. So we know that Arnold was mysterious, he disappeared. Well, I've got one question is why did anyone recognize Arnold as Bernard? It's, it's quite strange that that wasn't really recognized. And another issue I have as well is why did he keep Dolores around? Why did Ford keep Dolores around? It's very weird that he kept her around considering, you know, she killed his best friend. Another thing in this episode as well, which is curious, is the fact that the man in black is also involved in this mysterious thing to get the data out of the park and is also a board member. So what I'm a bit worried about is the fact that he just wants to get the end to the end of the storyline. and he's, It's literally just a storyline. It's just something that Ford wrote. So... That's what worries me about that now, is the fact that he's just following this storyline and that's it. So he, But I think there is obviously more to that. There has to be more to that because that'd be a bit shit. And that he is a board member. And, well, another thing as well is that he found his photo that he had, that he left on the Abernathy Ranch, we saw in the earlier scenes, which I thought was really cool as well. So that's it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. Never miss out. See you soon. Goodbye.